If you're going to be constantly and consistently giving your audience value in these ways, then there is no way that you won't grow. Hi guys, it's Gulfraz here and in this video I wanted to focus on how a brand or a business can actually provide their audience with value. Now this is important because a brand's online presence can either make or break their, their business as a whole and as we already understand organic marketing is the most powerful and the most profitable long-term asset that a business can have. Now remember if we give our specific market enough value over a long enough period of time that will then inevitably be reciprocated or we'll get that back but we can't mindlessly just be putting information out there putting content out there and be asking all the time we have to be giving and yeah that's what this video is about now if you if you don't know who i am my name's golfraz i'm a social media manager and i'm on a mission to help brands build an organic marketing presence that's profitable using my organic marketing methods now just to jump straight into this video, the key points I wanted to talk about, there are quite a few. As you already know, I'm always talking about prerequisites. So before we can actually start adding value, we have to make sure that we know who our target audience is and also that we have a product market fit uh, or a service market fit um, and your owned media like your website or so your email list is as on point as it can be and it's constantly evolving. And then we need to learn how to inject what we've already got into our online presence. Now, this reminds me of a story about a podcaster who was doing really well. His listener rate was increasing until he asked too much. So he started asking, asking his audience too much rather than giving them the value that they were used to receiving. And that in turn ended up hurting his business. Now, we want to be creating opportunities by adding value uh, in a person's journey more than we need to be asking asking them to you know buy our product the person that i'm talking about whose journey we need to be adding value to is your target audience we want to be getting our message across in a valuable way which will leave them more sort of enriched or in a better position than they were before they'd consumed the content now there are several ways on how we can actually create that value and the delivery of the, the way that we get that value across is, is equally as important. Uh, and this is because, you know, there's just so many different platforms out there. There are so many different types of content that we can use. We can use pictures like static images. We can use videos. We can use short form, long form. We can use carousels. There's just a wide range of content that we can be putting out there. Now I'm not going to go so much into the structure and how we can structure our content. I want to just focus more on how we can conjure up enough value to, to do this right, to do it properly. Now, what is value? So, I mean, now what is what is value? You know, how do you give your audience value? You know, the best way that you can actually answer that question is if you just look at look at yourself, look at how you how you behave when you're online, when you're in, engaging with you know brands, or when you're engaging with you know content creators or anyone online uh, on your social media what are you consuming what do you find valuable you know things that make us laugh you've got meme pages you've got funny videos what we're getting from that is entertainment so that is enriching us in one way or the other what else are we looking at so if you're i mean what do you do in your spare time for example if you like snowboarding for example or if you like you know cycling if you like you know any sports what would be giving you value you need to be able to pinpoint when you're consuming content, you need to be able to think, ah, how, you know, did, I, I'm, I've spent about half an hour watching this video. What did I get out of it? Whether it was an entertaining entertainment video, you can maybe sort of use that um, concept in, in the content that you're creating uh, with your brand's sort of voice and, and, you know, what you're trying to get across uh, encapsulated in that piece of content. You know, you could, it could be all sorts of things. Now, there are actually several ways in which you create uh, value now think about how you are when you're on a platform when you're on Instagram when you're on YouTube when you're on any of these platforms how are you uh, consuming this content you know what what value are you getting uh, if you can sort of mirror that in the content that you're producing for your brand or business you've hit it that that is exactly what you need to be doing you need to be enriching people's lives you need to be leaving them in a better state than they were with before they started watching your content now, like I said, there are several ways of creating value. 
One of the ways is you can maybe create guides, you can educate your audience, you can maybe create tutorials or give them insights as to how things work. And by helping them, that's creating value. Make something entertaining, like, you know, make them laugh, make them smile, you know, give them a story, give them a meme, um, anything that's related to your, your uh, brand or your business, turn it into a bit of a, a humor, give it a humorous angle and, and see how that performs. Another one is solving pain points. So find out what actually, you know, ikes your audience, provide solutions, give them advice, tell them about what offer you've got, what, sorry, what service you've got, what product, product you've got and how that's going to be solving their pain points. Another aspect of providing value is inspiring them, motivating them, you know, give them some um, stories or quotes or things that can uplift them. Um, that's an excellent way of, of creating value. And, and one thing that you've probably seen uh, content creators do or channels do and businesses do is ask their audience, you know, ask your target audience questions, engage with them, comment, you know, ask them what they want, what they like, what they don't like. You can get so much value from just doing that and being present and showing your audience that you're actually there and you, you want to help them. That's an excellent way of creating value. And another way of creating value is by sort of sharing current trends, current news, relevant to, to your target audience, relevant to your brand, you know, by giving them updates related to your, your specific industry or niche is also value. One thing that I wanted to actually throw in there is something that I actually really don't like to see is, do you know those sorts of stock videos and stock photos that a lot of brands start using? It, it, there's just no essence, there's no sort of value in those posts because the, it, it just seems really one-dimensional in my eyes uh, and I actually believe and I've seen as well and you probably know is people buy from people. I mean this is like a marketing principle. People don't buy from a logo. Well I mean if you're if you're Apple and things like that then maybe maybe so uh, but obviously to get to that stage you need a, a lot of a lot of work but more in most cases People buy from people. If people see a person, they're more likely to sort of engage with that and they're more likely to see that. And I've seen this with my clients as well, where, you know, they've gone from posting, um, you know, these sorts of one dimensional posts that were talking about like stock images with some text over those. And then they start making videos of themselves. And I've, I've seen such an, such an exponential growth sort of a potential in doing that because as soon as you're scrolling, when you see a person's face and when, they, when you've got the right hook, when, you, when you've got the right de uh, delivery, and when you've given them the reward, when you've actually, you know, enriched them at the end of the piece of content that you've created, you just see so much more engagement and, you know, so much more interaction. And that is what's going to help your brand and your business grow. And that's an excellent way, a brilliant way of creating value. So don't shy away from the camera. Uh, if anything, I actually um, encourage my, my clients to put themselves out there because people buy from people and and yeah I wanted to say that um, is a really important aspect of uh, of organic growth so it can be confusing for brands to, to come up with ideas as to how how to create value but I think if you actually look at how you behave online and and maybe just get inspiration from um, you know, just see how you're interacting uh, with with brands and businesses that you follow with people that you follow online and try to yeah try to try to copy that um try to sort of see which bucket specific types of content that give value fall into so like i mentioned is it educating is it entertaining is it you know is it is it solving problems what what specific thing is the piece of content doing and if you can actually do this over time consistently give your audience value then you can start asking. And again, I'm just gonna refer back to Gary Vee's book, which is Jab, 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 Right Hook. You need to be making sure your right hook, which is the ask, is worthy. And it can only be worthy when you've given your market enough value. So I'm always talking about giving value. These are just some ideas as to how you can give your audience value and how you can start seeing that warm audience grow, that trust grow, you know, that connection, that engagement grow is not, going to happen overnight you know we need to start thinking about things in decades like I keep talking about if you're going to be constantly and consistently giving your audience value in these ways then there is no way that you won't grow so I hope these uh, little insights gave you um, some inspiration to start creating valuable posts of your own and if you're interested in 
seeing what I do and how I can help because this is what I do. There is a link in the description. And like I say, you know, you don't have to click on it. It's there if you want it. Um, if not, I just hope that this video has given you plenty of value, plenty of things to think about as to how you can start injecting some value into the content that, you're, that you are posting online. Um, if you've got questions, comments, leave them below. And of course, if you subscribe, if you like the video, YouTube is going to give you more of these sorts of videos. So don't forget to do that. And yeah, thanks again for watching till the end. Take care. Bye.